Now, a powerful earthquake hit northwestern Japan on Tuesday night, triggering a small tsunami near the quake's epicenter. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Hong Yu. So, Yu, give us the details. The quake, which struck at 10:22 p.m. local time, was recorded at a magnitude of 6.8, and it hit underwater some 50 kilometers southwest of the city of Sakata. Shortly after the quake hit, Japan's meteorological agency issued a tsunami warning, saying it expected a surge of seawater to arrive imminently in the coastal areas of Yamagata, Niigata, and Ishikawa. However, no major tsunami struck the coastline. Fifteen people were injured in the quake. Thousands of households experienced power blackouts, and some train services were suspended. A tsunami warning has been issued for Yamagata Prefecture to Ishikawa Prefecture. A small tsunami, up to a few centimeters, struck parts of Sakata, Yamagata Prefecture, and Awashima, Niigata Prefecture. We'd like to ask residents to move away from the coastal area and evacuate to a safe place. Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshihide Suga urged local residents to be prepared for possible aftershocks. More than 1,500 people have been evacuated to shelters in Murakami City and elsewhere in Niigata. Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority says all seven nuclear power plants in Niigata have halted operations and no abnormalities have been reported. Tuesday's quake was the strongest observed in Japan since a magnitude 7.0 quake rattled Hokkaido last September.